let's begin with the course overview. In this course, we'll cover security and hardening techniques that apply to any Linux-based server or workstation. Our goal is to make it harder for the bad guys to do nasty things to your systems. Let's look at each section in detail now. Section 1, Running Linux in a Virtual Environment, gives an overview of the IT security landscape and will inform the viewer of why learning Linux security would be a good career move. We'll also cover how to set up a lab environment for performing hands-on exercises. We'll also show how to set up a virtualized lab environment for performing the hands-on labs. The second section, Securing User Accounts, covers the dangers of always using the root user account and will introduce the benefits of using sudo instead. We'll then cover how to lock down normal user accounts and ensure that the users use good quality passwords. Section 3, Securing Your Server with a Firewall, involves working with the various types of firewall utilities. Section 4, Encrypting and SSH Hardening, makes sure that important information, both at rest and in transit, are safeguarded with proper encryption. For data in transit, the default secure shell configuration is anything but secure, and could lead to a security breach if left as is. This section shows how to fix that. Section 5, Mastering Discretionary Access Control, covers how to set ownership and permissions on files and directories. We'll also cover what SUID and SGID can do for us, and the security implications of using them. We'll wrap things up by covering extended file attributes. The sixth section, Access Control Lists and Shared Directory Management, explains that normal Linux file and directory permission settings aren't very granular. With access control lists, we can allow only a certain person to access a file, or we can allow multiple people to access a file with different permissions for each person. We're also going to put what we've learned together in order to manage a shared directory for a group. Section 7, Implementing Mandatory Access Control with SE Linux and App Armor, talks about SE Linux, which is a mandatory access control technology that is included with Red Hat type Linux distros. We'll give a brief introduction here about how to use SE Linux to prevent intruders from compromising a system. App Armor is another mandatory access control technology that is included with Ubuntu and SUSE type Linux distros. We'll give a brief introduction here about how to use App Armor to prevent intruders from compromising a system. The last section, Scanning, Auditing and Hardening, discusses that viruses aren't yet a huge problem for Linux users, but they are for Windows users. If your organization has Windows clients that access Linux file service, then this section is for you. You can use Audit D to audit, which accesses either files, directories, or system calls. It won't prevent security breaches, but it will let you know if some unauthorized person is trying to access a sensitive resource. SCAP, the Security Content Application Protocol, is a compliance framework that's promulgated by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. OpenSCAP, the open source implementation, can be used to apply a hardening policy to a Linux computer. This course is an advanced level guide filled with real world examples that will help you secure your Linux system. By the end of this course, you will be equipped with many tools at your disposal, which will help you fully protect your system. To get the most out of this course, you don't need much. However, these things would be helpful. A working knowledge of basic Linux commands and of how to navigate through the Linux file system. A basic knowledge about tools such as less and grep. Familiarity with command line editing tools such as VIM or Nano. A basic knowledge of how to control systemd services with systemctl commands. For hardware, you don't need anything fancy. All you need is a machine that's capable of running 64-bit virtual machines. So let's get started. I promise you a great journey.